Hi everyone, this is the first video in the Tailwind installation series where I explain how to install and use Tailwind CSS in 5 different ways. In this video, we are going to take a look at one of the easiest ways to start using Tailwind CSS, that is by using the Play CDN. I am here in my code editor with an empty folder open where I want to create my project. So the first step is to create your HTML file. So in this folder where I want to create the project, I create an HTML file. Now to run this there are two ways generally HTML file you can just use the path of this file and paste it in the browser and you can see the output. Otherwise what I recommend is to use an extension called live server. By installing this we have an option called go live on the bottom right and when you click on it and whenever you make changes in the HTML file it will automatically refresh in the browser. So you don't need to refresh manually every time. So I'll click on go live. As you can see it's empty now. So let me add some text. And you can see the output is there on the left. So it's working. Now all you have to do is to add this CDN script inside the head section. Script and then give a source and here that's all. This is the URL for the CDN and once you save this now you can see that the font will change because the default font for Tailwind CSS is different. So let me save it and you can see the spacing all changed and the font also changed. Now you can directly use the classes here. So I want to make the text bigger and then bold and change the background as well. Let me save it and you can see. So this works. However, there is still more to this. Even though it's just a CDN link, we can even configure Tailwind CSS in this using another script. You can also add custom CSS and also add plugins as well. So let me teach you those three as well. So in order to configure this, you add another script. Inside that, you write Tailwind dot config and inside this you can add the configuration that you want in this example i want to add a custom color so i'll go to theme inside theme i can use extend and colors and here i will add a custom color that i want Custom color is just the name of it. You can use some other name, for example, reddish, and add some hex code. I'm not sure. I'll add something. So let's try it on the text color here. So text reddish. Let's save this, and you can see the color changed. And you can also add the custom CSS as I was saying. So for that, you have to add a style tag. And here you have to specify the type equals text slash tailwind CSS. And then inside this, you can specify the custom CSS that you want. So for the layer utilities, I want to add a gradient background. So I'll use some name rainbow and here I'll specify it will be a linear gradient I'll copy some hex codes I'll save it 
now you can use this bg gradient rainbow in the body so instead of yellow i'll use gradient rainbow let me save it and you can see that on the left you can see the background has changed to a gradient color so that's how we can add the custom css now let me add some plugins adding plugins is also simple you just need to add another script in the head section the same cdn link but you just add plugins and you just enter whatever plugin that you want i'll use typography and show you how it works i'll create a div in that we have a heading now i'll add some block code to, to show the difference and i'll add some paragraph Now I'll remove all the styles and show you how it looks and then with the typography plugin you will see how it looks now if you see on the left side it's just blank text nothing's happening but as soon as you add the typography plugin class that is something called prose now if you save it you can see that automatically on the left side the spacing the font color and for the block code we have a special border on the left and it is italic so we can even use the plugins using the cdn method so the play cdn is perfect for beginners or anyone who needs to create a quick prototype with just a single script tag you can start using telvin css right away there is no setup or build process just simple and straightforward access to all the telvin's features while this method is great for learning and small projects it's not ideal for larger or production level applications the CDN version isn't optimized for performance and it does not offer full range of customization that you get with a more advanced setup. But for getting started or experimenting, it's an incredibly fast and easy option. So you have just learned how to set up Tailwind CSS using Play CDN. In the next video, let's learn about Tailwind CLI method. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.